So this is going to be the first of many more casual type of videos that I'd like to do in the future. I've been really busy trying to do a lot of stuff lately, but I came across this vid called Why the Internet is Less Fun. And if you haven't seen it yet and you were wondering why you always feel like you're out of it, I highly recommend you check it out. Now, I've thought about this a lot, but I couldn't quite put it into words until now. And I think it's still worth being said. We all know the algorithm is designed to maximize viewership and keep you watching for as long as possible. And we also know that shorts are uniquely good good at this because they're quick, bite-sized, burst-type information. But that means that even if you don't like what you see, before you can even leave the video, that video is likely already over and loading the next thing. And as a human who's curious, your brain will default to just wanting to see what comes next. It's literally like a casino machine. Except instead of playing to win money, you're paying time to win entertainment. Refreshing the page is the equivalent to running the slot machine. Every time you do it, you sit tight just wondering what's going to come up. Now, there's nothing wrong with enjoying entertainment, but the problem that Marakuk highlights is entertainment is not the same as viewership. Most people here on YouTube are probably looking for entertainment, but most people end up clicking on things that catch their view. And people by default respond disproportionately more to negative stimulus than positive. I forgot the exact number, but it was something like, you feel negative things about five times more than you feel positive things. But regardless, what this means is the things that you are most likely going to click and view are also the things that are correlated to negative emotion. Things you hate. Things you fear. Things that make you want to read and spend time arguing in the comments. If you've ever wondered why you feel so spent, drained, and tired, it might just be because you spent the last two hours watching content being angry, afraid, and annoyed with what you saw on your feed. Not being productive at all. And the tough part is, that's the default. That's where you're naturally going to end up if you go with the flow. Think about it this way. If YouTube realizes that you spend more time arguing in the comment section of a negative video than you do spend time leaving nice comments on a positive video, then you are training the algorithm to fill your feed with negative content. And I don't think that's what you want. So what's the solution? Well, it's simple in theory, but kind of tough in practice. Essentially, you have to spend more time interacting with things that you like instead of things you hate. And the way I do it is I made a rule for myself, which is from now on, if I see a video and it's negative, I do not let myself interact with it. I don't like it, I don't dislike it, I don't subscribe, and I don't leave a comment on it. And conversely, if I find a video that makes me feel positive, I try my best to spend a little bit of effort interacting with it. Maybe leave a like, if possible, maybe even a comment. And just doing that has made a massive change in my feed, which is now basically filled with my favorite games and all the cool things that dogs and birds can do. And I feel a lot less tired and a lot less drained in my day-to-day -day life, which ultimately as an artist means that I can be more creative and productive. Of course, use your best judgment on where to find a good balance, but just know that unless you put some conscious effort into positive interaction, you will most likely be left with nothing but your default negative interaction. That's all I wanted to say. Good luck changing your feed. I really think it's worth your effort. And regardless, hope that helps. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around. <laughs>